Right, so the city of Ikuruleni has been downgraded to junk status by Moody's Investment Service because of the city's weak budgetary and management practices. Moody says the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on revenue collection made the city's already weak liquidity profile worse, leaving it with low cash reserves at times of a depressed revenue collection. Mayor Mzondi Masina says the city has taken a zero-tolerance approach towards corruption and reaffirmed his commitment to the Clean Administration Initiative that was launched back in 2016. He joins us now for by our telephone line for more on this. Mr. Mayor, thanks very much for your time. Welcome to the AM report. Uh, let me start by asking this. I mean, Moody's also mentioned that there were recurrent and, uh, you know, long-standing operating deficits, which made the city's position even more vulnerable. I think that's enough for us to, I, I think, agree as a start that the financial woes in Ekuruleni certainly not caused nor started by the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. I must say that um, the pandemic has affected um, many of the institutions, including both private and, and, and public. Uh, we were not spared as a city of Ekurleni, so uh, it is important, that, therefore, that we, we make sure that uh, we, we work uh, as, a, as, as a people to, to fix our finances. What uh, the council did uh, yesterday basically was to begin a process, a long overdue process, uh, because since the start of the metro in 2000, there has been these opening and closing balances which were not co uh, uh, concluded because the, uh, the, there was no capacity to investigate. So since the start of the new administration, we have built the capacity to, to, to investigate and conclude matters. We are now in the process of writing off uh, of those uh, that uh, we feel as council that uh, the, the figures have been verified. Uh, but also there was value for money. So we started with a, with a first uh, uh, load of about 463 million, uh, which has been concluded by council, and we're hoping that there will be others so that we can conclude this term. Right. Uh, yeah, I hear that. But my question was, would you agree that the city's financial troubles didn't begin with COVID-19? And in fact, that might be a reflection that uh, the books were badly handled even before the pandemic, and that's why perhaps Moody has moved to now downgrade the city another two notches. Well, well, the line is not quite clear, but if I'm, if I'm hearing you correctly, that uh, the, the, there's uh, the financial management in the city of Fagurlin since the start of the administration has been excellent. Uh, we've been having reviews with National Treasure and the AG's, the AG's office has been giving us um, a clean bill of health. So I, would, I wouldn't agree with you if you are saying, uh, if I'm hearing you correctly, if you're saying that uh, the, the, the financial health has, has been mis mismanaged, no, that, that, that is not entirely true. Okay, so then what do you attribute Moody saying this, that there were recurrent operating deficits and significant decline in the, city, in the city's position, which heightened its vulnerability? How do you understand that? Yeah, the, the, line, is, the line is not asking us. Um, but the, the, the point I want to make, uh, if I'm hearing you correctly, is that um, the, the, the financials of the city has not been in worse of position, except during the time of COVID. We are badly affected by COVID, and that is why we, 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 it is important, therefore, that we make sure that um, we, we work together as a city to, uh, to make sure that our position is not worse off. So, so the point I'm making is that uh, we have fairly handled our finances very well. As you know, that we are one of the most stable metros in the city. We have been able to ramp up our capital expenditure uh, to the limit. We are now scaling down so that we can have reserve for the new administration. Right. It's very interesting you can't hear me because you're actually quite in, coming across uh, quite crystal clear on my end. So I'm going to try to put this to you uh, just one more time just so we, we don't leave this point hanging. What yeah. I'm essentially asking you to help me then clarify is why then would Moody say that there are recurrent operating deficits and a significant decline in the city's liquidity position, which heightened its vulnerability. What, what do you understand that to mean about the city's financial management even before COVID-19? Look, remember when you came in, there was an, uh, there was an ambitious program um, to make sure that there's infrastructure uh, development across the city. So what we did uh, when we came in, uh, we had to ramp up, which is the point I'm making, we had to ramp up, uh, ramp up our capex expenditure uh, we found it at about 4.4 billion, and we took it up to about uh, 7.4 billion. The city is under construction, so we, we knew that at the, uh, towards the last year of our, of, of our, of our exit, so we'll have to then build the capital reserve, which is what we are doing now. If you notice, for instance, we have had uh, about three or four uh, adjustments, 
we are adjusting downwards to make sure that we are able to build those reserves. I can assure you now, by, by the time we end our term next year, we'll have a, a, a surplus of over five billion because of the strategy that we've implemented. But equally, we will have lots of projects on the ground that that will be completed even if it, if it takes longer than three years. So that has been the strategy because there was not much uh, development on the ground. So we needed to make sure that we stimulate uh, development using the public uh, public resources. Mm. Okay. Uh, the city also launched the Clean Administrative Imi Initiative. Uh, that was back in 2016. Some people may argue it doesn't appear that officials within the administration are taking this seriously. Why should the people of Ekuruleni trust that anything substantial will come out of this initiative when, uh, I guess, four years later, it doesn't appear that there's much to show for it? Well, we have got very less incidences of fraud and corruption in the city of Segurulene. That's why we've not been on the newspapers. And I'm saying that uh, this initiative has been important because uh, it's to ensure checks and balances. If you can notice, over the past three, four years, we've not had any incidences of uh, uh, deviation, uh, irregular flares and wasteful expenditure. And even now, we received in the, uh, yesterday, we received the, the last quarter of, uh, of, uh, uh, of our financials. The position is still the same. So there's not been rampant corruption and abuse of public resources. Uh, the, 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 the public does have confidence in the work that we've been able to do over time. Yeah. I'm saying that, uh, I'm saying that um, you, you've not seen us uh, even on simple things like the PPE and all the things that have been going on because we've been tight in terms of our internal control within the city. Yeah, but there was a senior official in the health and social department that was suspended over tender fraud irregularities. In fact, my understanding is that the city had also launched an internal investigation insofar as that is concerned. Yes, uh, that's an isolated incident that has been concluded and we can share with you the report uh, at an appropriate time because currently you can't speak about, uh, we've had four years and you're speaking about one incident uh, that uh, was uh, highly reported. There, there should be some few other incidents but the, the, the issue is they're isolated and they've not really impacted on the credibility of our, of our financial management system. Okay, it's one incident, but it's also a senior official. I'm told I'm out of time. Very quickly, before we let you go, um, you were also, I guess, you know, quite vocal around some of the corruption taking place in the ANC. In fact, I remember you joining a protest outside uh, the St. George's Hotel whilst an ANC-NEC meeting was taking place. Your reaction to the current arrests that have uh, taken place, uh, are you getting a sense that we're finally cracking down on the people we should within the governing party? Well, uh, I'm worried about the, the Hollywood-style arrests uh, that are taking place because arrests must be arrested and they must be normal. Uh, but we need to make sure that all those that are doing wrong, they must, uh, they must be finally brought to, to, to books. Uh, my protest was a political protest because the president had written to us individually as members to say that we must stand, there, stand up against corruption. And, and that's the point I was making. I was supporting the call that has been made by the organization, and I stand by that because there was nothing anti-ANC, which I did at the point when I was marching to say enough is enough, nobody has been sent by ANC to do wrong things in government, and that we must not do corruption in the name of the organization. When we are found wanting as individuals, we must stand as individuals and not bring the name of the organization into this All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for making time to chat to us on the AM Report. Mzwadi Masina is the executive mayor of the city of Ekuruleni.